Hi, this is Anna Skye, and today I'm going to share with you a quick tutorial on how to personalize our Microsoft Word templates. And to get started, we're going to go ahead and log in to the member area. So I'm going to click log in from the top menu bar. I'm going to put in my username and password. And click the log me in button. And when you log into the member areas, you'll see a quick links area that gives you access to different sections of the collection. And for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the chrysanthemum invitation. So I'm going to click on chrysanthemums. And this is how the download area looks. And you'll notice that each template has two buttons, one for the Photoshop file and one for the Word file. And to access the Word template, I'm going to go ahead and click the green Word download button. And this brings up a window, and I'm going to choose to open it with Microsoft Word. Click OK. And this brings the template open. And I get a lot of questions when people first view the template because the colors look muted. And that's because these graphics for the flowers are on a lower layer within the Word document. And I've done that so that when you're working with your text, you don't alter the graphics in any way or move them around. Makes it easier for adding your text. So in order to get a true representation of how this is going to look, the best thing to do would be to print it out. But these colors is what generated the sample photograph in the member area here. So to add our text, there's a text box to the left and right invitation. And we're going to go ahead and get all of the text the way we like it on the left, and then copy and paste it and bring it over to the right. Now I've prepared some wedding invitation text, and I've just pasted it in here. And I'm going to add some, put my cursor in and add some spacing so I can put the bride and groom's name in. I'm going to add a little space here between Belmont Gardens. And text boxes can be moved around. And to move them around, you can just click on the edge of the text box. It will give you this four-headed arrow, and you can move it around your screen. You can also shrink them, make them taller if you need more room. And I'm just going to make it this size because I want that word presence not to run into the flower. So I'm just going to play with my text box here to get it so it clears that. And I'm going to add the bride and groom's name in a different color font, in a script font. And I found the easiest way to do this is to create a new text box. And I'm going to come up here to my text box tool and come on to the invitation. And you'll see now my cursor has this blue T. I'm going to drag and create a text box. Then type in the bride's name, Julie Harrington. And I would like this to be pink. So I'm going to come in and pull pink here from the colors. And by the way, if you don't like any of these colors that Word gives you as a default, if you click More Colors, it brings up this color palette. And you can just mix and choose colors to your heart's content. But I'm good with the pink there. I'm going to come up to the font drop down. And I'm going to pick a font called Edwardian. And I'm going to make it 24 point. And now that I have the bride's name in her own text box, I can then move this text box exactly where I want to put it in the Word document. And this is easier because I can get the spacing exactly the way I want rather than deal with Word's default setting of line height and so on. So I'm going to take this bride text box and I've selected it so it has all six handles on the corners. I'm going to do Control C and Control V and make a duplicate one for the groom's name. And that way the fonts and the colors will match perfectly. I'm going to put in Mark the Black. And I'm also going to drag that into place here. 
And then I would like to have the word to between the bride and groom's name. And I want it to match the text that I have here for the rest of the wording. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the word Robert, create a new text box, paste that in, and then replace it with the word to. And that helps me get the exact color, font size. It's kind of a shortcut for getting those two things to match up. And now that I have everything the way I like it here on the left side, I'm going to copy it over to the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this placeholder text box and delete it. So I'm just going to select it with my cursor and put, hit the delete key on my keyboard. And then I'm going to come over here and select all my text boxes. So I'm going to click on it, select the big text box, hold the shift key, click to select all of the text boxes. And I'm going to do control C, copy, control V, paste. I just made an exact copy that I can bring over to the right side. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you have any questions about personalizing our word templates, don't hesitate to contact us through the support form on downloadandprint.com.